Welcome to Olympian Water Testing, giving you the best in water analysis. Today, we are looking at the CDC website, Center for Disease Control and Prevention, and we're taking a look at pregnant women, how lead affects them. We talked about children and infants quite a lot, but when it's coming from a parent to their unborn baby, that can be particularly detrimental. But the good news is lead exposure is preventable, and now's the time to keep your baby safe, your unborn baby, from lead. So how does this work? If an adult has been exposed to lead over a long time or has high levels of lead in their blood in the past, particularly the mother, the lead stored in their bones can be released into the blood during pregnancy. This means the level of lead in their body can start to increase during pregnancy, and if a person is exposed to lead during their pregnancy, their developing baby can also be exposed, and that's particularly dangerous. As we know, it can harm infants, it can harm babies who are not born yet, and children particularly, especially in the areas of developmental, such as their mental functioning, their IQ, and their cognitive function. And lead in the blood during pregnancy can increase the risk for miscarriage, cause the baby to be born too early or too small, hurt the baby's brain, kidneys, and nervous system, and cause the children to have learning or behavior problems. And that is particularly scary as well. Now, how can you be exposed to lead? That can be from the air, water, soil. It can be in older homes, particularly after 1978. And it can also come from the most ubiquitous source, your drinking water. Now you can do different ways and you can see, hey, is, do I have older plumbing? Is my house older? Do I have a lead service line? And those are all good ways to check. But you don't always know 100% because as we said before, lead is a silent killer. It doesn't have any real way that you can sense it. You can't taste it. You can't smell it. And you definitely cannot see it. So if it comes down to this, if you're pregnant and you think you may have been exposed to lead, or if you think there's lead in your environment, especially in your water or anywhere, you do want to first talk to your healthcare provider about getting a blood lead test. A blood test is the best and most readily available way to determine if you've been exposed to lead. Based on your blood lead test, you can tell your doctor, recommend finding removing the lead from your environment, and diet high in iron, calcium, and scheduling a follow-up testing. And that is all good, especially if you have been exposed to lead. But the best way is to prevent yourself from being exposed to lead in the first place. And the most ubiquitous resource we use is water. We use it for recreation. We use it for drinking. We use it for cleaning. So when it comes to pregnant women, when it comes to women with newborn babies, or it comes to women with children or parents with children, it's always a good idea. And it's going to save a lot of time, a lot of effort, and potentially your child's life and development if you periodically test for lead in the water.